Hey, what's up guys? So today in this video, I wanna go ahead and show you guys how to actually bend copper accurately. So I know a lot of people have said that on, on the Hilmer, it doesn't mark where your center line is gonna be. Same with the black mats, CPS fender. And on the Uniwell, it does have that already included in there on the mandrels. Okay. So um, basically in this video, you guys will learn that you can actually bend them properly. You just have to understand how to properly use it. That's basically it. It's super simple, guys. Uh, after you finish watching the video, you will be able to go bend some copper. You'll be able to do about five, six, seven, whatever type of bends you want to do very accurately. And pretty much what you need is your tape measure. All right, it is super important, guys. So make sure you measure properly and then you can pretty much bend all your copper exactly how you want it, all right? So before I start the video, guys, um, real quick, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and do so, guys, and don't forget to give me some thumbs up, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. So, so this is a three-quarter inch copper, all right? So we got our handle right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Alright. Alright guys. So on the home more, if you're going to see, you have um, literally no indication of where your center to center mark will be on here. Okay. But now, if you start testing it, then let me show you real quick exactly what you want to look at, all right? So this right here is where you want it to be at, right here, okay? Don't look at this. Look at this part, okay? So let me go ahead and make a bend real quick, and then you guys will be able to see that it's very accurate. All right, guys, so from the end of our copper, let's go ahead and measure. We'll do nine inches. All right. Okay guys, do you see this little indent right here on the hill more? It's right there. So all you gotta do is line that copper up with that. It will take a couple of practices to kind of make sure you get it just right on that line. So don't worry. This one has a little kink on that. But it's normal. It'll happen sometimes, especially with the cheaper copper. But so basically, we wanted it to be at nine inches. All right, so you see that, guys? So we have our nine inches. So the, basically it's gonna be from the end here and you have to measure a little bit farther out. Cause obviously if you measure over here, you're not gonna see your, 92, your nine inches, but right there, that's perfect. That's spot on guys, all right? So that is the Hillmore. That's how you find its correct center. All right? So it's by these inner marks, okay? And this is called the center to center uh, measure okay so basically that's what you're going off of your yeah so you take the center of the pipe itself 
you know so we're going from the center right here and then from there we go nine inches this way all right so that's how you do that um, and just keep in mind you have to go from either this side or this side whichever side you're gonna work with if you're working if your copper is on this side then you're working with this one okay if your copper is on this side then you're looking at this part over here all right so that's a quick way to know how to bend with the hill more very accurately and if you want to make it easier for you you can get like a little white marker and maybe just mark right here and then you have your lines for whenever you need to make a bend all right guys so now let's go ahead and try the uh cps bender okay from black max all right so let's go ahead and do uh, nine inches on this one three quarter all right guys so with the black max what you want to do is your center marks are going to be this right here okay so let's say we wanted nine inches from from this side to over here okay just so you can see i want my center to be at nine inches So I'm going to line it up with the top of the tool. By the top, I mean up here, guys, okay? That's our bend. Okay, now let's measure. So we wanted nine inches, guys. We got nine inches exact from the center. You see the center. You can compare it to the hill more. Maybe that guy is exactly the same. Okay. Marks are in the same spot. So, this was the hill more right here. And this was the CPS. Okay, and you saw we got nine inches exact on both. All right, guys, so we have one left. That's the Uniweld, all right? Which this one already has its marks on there. All right, so three quarter. Let's set this bad boy up. Okay, oh, no. that was right. Okay, guys, so I was gonna tell you your three quarters right there and then over here. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and do nine inches on this one as well, just to make it the same as the other one. All right, so Uniweld, they have their line right here, okay? This is your center mark. Okay, so if your copper is over here on this side and you're trying to get your center on this side, then you go off of this line, okay? If it's the opposite way, then you use this one, okay? For instance, I marked it at nine inches from that side. So this is gonna give me nine inches here, okay? If it was the other way around and I widen nine inches from this side, then I would have to measure nine inches from this right here to over here, so. You know, it'd have to be over here. And I'd have to cut my copper right here if I wanted nine inches from here to here. But since it's already marked nine inches from this side to over here, what we do is we go to the left side of the mark. Right there. All right, so let's go ahead and bend this. guys so we got our bend right there this one did get a little kinked up but guys don't don't blame that on the bender the, the copper here was kind of messed up already sometimes the cheaper the copper is the easier it's gonna bend all right so we want nine inches we got our nine inches right there, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and compare them. First things first, this was the Hillmore. This is Uniweld right here on this side. And my CPS Black Max right here. Guys, every single one of these coppers is completely flush to my finger, all right? See that? All right guys, so I just showed you guys how you can effectively and accurately measure your copper and make sure you're getting the results that you want for your application. Now this is the center method, okay? This is the only method that I actually use to bend my copper. And I mean, it comes out right exactly what you want, you know? It's exactly nine inches to the center, but guys, all right? And this was, you know well. Same with this one. This one's nine inches exact to the center. And this is my Hillmore. And this here is my Black Max CPS bender and it did exactly the same thing. Okay guys? So basically to recap on that, your Hillmore, you use the inside indents that are down here as your measurement or as your center mark. Okay. So these two right here, this and this, that's, that's your 
marking center mark method right here okay guys use these and you'll get your correct center and you can do that with a 7 8 mandrel as well uh, i only had three quarter inch copper i had a couple of spare pieces of the copper so i just used the three quarter all right now the uh cps you're going off to the top guys so this Right where this top right here is that, that's where you're going off of. Right here, okay guys? You can see right here, I had some uh, practice uh, marks right here, and I finally realized that it was actually this part right here that you actually wanna pay attention to. So I went ahead and tested it what, one, two, three times, and then on my fourth try, I realized that I just needed to line my copper up to this part. Okay? And well, you know what? They already have theirs. All right, guys? Uh, you, you want to see it up close one more time just in case. That's theirs right there. Okay? So uh, basically you saw all three benders, they went at it and they all basically accomplished the same exact task. So I mean, pretty much they can all do it for you guys. Um, yeah, so on this one, it took me about five minutes to figure out where I needed to get my marks on. So it was this side and this side. And this, I figured this out like after I bought it, literally five minutes later, oh, okay. Bam, bam, that's where I need to, you know, use that on. Yeah, and then uh, on the Hillmore, basically, I mean, same thing, right after I bought it, I tested out where I could find the center methods on them, and it's on the inside, all right? I'm not really sure what the outside, outer indents here are for. I'm pretty sure that's maybe like the outside of the copper or something, but it doesn't work for me. I, I don't like using that. The way I measure my copper is the center line method, okay? So the center of the copper is where I, where I go with. It's just a lot easier to do it for me. Okay, so you already know you know well. Um, so pretty much whichever bender you have, you can figure it out, guys. It's not that difficult whatsoever. Um, yeah, and that's the three that I have, and I have them just as a backup to my backup. And then you know this one messes up. I go to this one, and then go to this one. So yeah. All right, guys. So um. That's the conclusion of my video today. Um, so if you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also guys, stay tuned. Um, I will have a couple more videos coming up. Yeah, so guys, you guys have a great day. Take care.